This is a new seat for the Honda Beat. So we went back to Rim Solutions and got a second set of mini alloys for the fronts. So it's 15s all around now and looks fantastic. This is a new seat for the Honda Beat. And what a journey it has been to get this seat. Back when I had Jazda, the MX-5, I came across Tillet seats in the UK to do those fiberglass and carbon fiber seats. And I always thought they were cool, but just really, really expensive. So I never really got around to fitting one in Jazda, but it was something I always wanted to do. The seats in the Honda Beat are very unique with that zebra print uh, fabric on the seats. And they are comfortable, but they don't really have much in the way of side bolstering. So when you're taking corners at speed, it doesn't really hold you in the seat very well. So I started thinking about options. Obviously the cabin in the Honda Beat is quite narrow, so a lot of seats just don't fit. I did sit in a Honda Beat that had a, a bride Lomax seat in it, and it was incredibly tight. Not comfortable at all for my body shape, um, but it did hold you in very well. So I started looking around at other options. Went back to Tillet, still too expensive, no. And I came across a company called RCC Seats, based out of Portugal. So I started researching uh, the company and looking at all their uh, seat options that they have displayed on their website and their social media and all the photos of the seats that they produce. And they all look really, really impressive. A uh, bit too good to be true, to be honest, because the quality looked as high as Tillet. The weights of the seats was incredibly low as well which is important, I don't know about a heavy seat in the beat. Um, but the actual price was far more affordable. What was also really interesting about RCC seats was that they are, can be completely customized to your tastes. So there was about maybe 10 different styles of seats um, and then all of the padding, the way that they're painted, um, are they you know, raw fiberglass or have they a cover everywhere? Um, you know, if they're painted, are they kind of gel coated or are they uh, done with a Raptor paint or Linex kind of hard durable paint? You know, what type of uh, cushioning do you want? The different patterns, do you want them stitched? Do you want them made out of foam? Do you want it to be covered in a material? What color material do you want? It seemed endless uh, and you could customize it exactly how you want it. So my idea was to get one of these seats and to get the padding in kind of any color and then have them re covered in a Honda Beat seat cloth. So, so there's a guy called Juan from the uh, Honda Beat Facebook group uh, in the US and he was actually sourcing and getting a, a material created. So I thought, well, if I can order that, apply it to the cushions, then I won't lose that uniqueness that makes those seats brilliant and it'll match the rest of the interior. So that was the plan. So what I thought I'd do is I'd order those pads in gray so that it was kind of uh, similar to the rest of the interior and I'd see how I liked it and maybe I wouldn't bother getting the, the genuine cloth done but I'd, I'd kind of take it one step at a time. But after I placed the order it all went a bit sideways. I was told that the order would be sent out within a couple of days which I found quite surprising um, seeing how it was customised to my exact needs but okay. And it has taken, I don't know how many emails back and forth uh, following up on this. Dates promised over and over and missed again. In total, it's taken uh, almost two months to get these uh, when they were promised to be sent within a couple of days. Um, I wouldn't have minded if they, we, they had been upfront about it and said, you know, it takes two months, these are custom seats, whatever. Um, but there was dates being promised that kept getting missed over and over. The communication was, was really bad. Um, you know, emailing and not getting a response for, for a week. 
um, just not really what you expect. As far as I can make out, there's one main guy. I don't know, does he use contractors? Does he do everything himself? But it's certainly a small company. Um, and, you know, again, communication seems to be the main issue. So hopefully the quality of the seat won't let me down either now. There was one final issue, which after you finally sent an image to say, we've posted your seats, they're going to be picked up uh, by the courier. Here's what it looks like. The color of the seat is black, sprayed with a Linex finish. And the cushions are, were meant to be a dark gray and he did them in black. So he did them in the wrong color and it was too late and it was already picked up and on the way to Ireland. So all in all, it hasn't been a good experience so far. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what sort of quality the seat is going to be after all this hassle. Here is what it looks like. So the body is GRP and the padding is then stuck to that. So the reason it has this interesting kind of finish, I'll try and capture this on the camera is because this was an option for it to be painted in something called Linex, which is like a bed liner that you'd normally put on pickup trucks and stuff like that. So it's a really, really hard wearing um, kind of protectant uh, paint. You can get it in a gloss, but I just think it would get destroyed uh, pretty quickly from belt buckles and different things like that. That's one of my pet peeves with a lot of these bucket seats, like the, the bride seats, for example is you know just here where you're kind of getting into the car and you're leaning over the cushioning they always rip like along here so this should last a long time this particular model has got the mounting points underneath there is just four mounting points this is not made for a honda beat uh, so this is a total punt um, i think i'm going to be able to marry this up based on my measurements uh, to the existing Honda Beat rail, so I'll retain the uh, the seat rail. So let's see what it's like to sit in. This is the XL variant of this particular seat model, and I'm glad I definitely went for the XL version. It's not too tight for me, but definitely the regular one would have been too tight. Um, it's holding in very nicely on the legs, and loads of support here at your sides that you just don't get with the stock seats. Definitely think if I could fit this in it will be a very comfortable seat in the beat. There's going to be a couple of problem areas with the, the beat which is the width here where it's going to be coming against the door card on this side and then the width down where the sills are when you sit into the car. It has a very interesting design on the rear with the central rib along with the, just the way it's designed on the back there. Very cool looking. Time to get the seat out. Here is the underside of the seat, just showing the rails. There's only four bolts holding it on. There's one here and then one on the front side. So we'll take them off first. This side of the rail is connected to the seatbelt holder and the wire that tells you, you know, to put your seatbelt on. So I just need to snip this. Just to show some of the measurements here, the width across is 30, just under 34 centimeters for the front and rear. And then front to back, just over 30. So I'll measure that against the new seat, but there's also some options with what we can do with the rails themselves. Roughly speaking, it's about a centimeter wider than the beach seats from the mounting places and a centimeter shorter on the front to back. So see how we go. 
So I've just put one bolt in just to have a look at the front to back distance. So that's in there. If I move forward the rail, you can see this hole does not line up. In fact, it's off the end of the seat. But if you look at where the hole is, it's just here. So I think the front to back is gonna be pretty simple. I'll just need to punch a hole here and mount it on there. I think what will be more tricky is the left to right. So I'm just going to put on both rails. Hopefully that one will also be similar. I can just drill a hole. If I need to bring them closer together, um, I can always slot these just a tiny bit. Well, not that one, but the, the new one I'll drill and this one up here. But I'll just try it first with just drilling the hole and see if there's any way I can get it in the car. Probably not, but start simple. So I didn't film all of the modifications that I made to the seat rail, but it was pretty straightforward, basically making some of the holes a little bit larger to fit the bolts in to account for that difference in the width and length. The seat is now in. position is definitely a little bit lower and um, a little bit more tricky to get in and out obviously with the side bolstering uh, but that's to be expected nowhere near as much hassle as like a bride seat or something like that will it be comfortable that is the question it's very hard kind of plastic but there's padding where you need it so in theory it should be okay one thing I have noticed is that there's not great lumbar support just for the shape of my back um, but I'll have to get out on the road and actually check that out. Something that a few of you might be interested in is what is the weight of this? So what I'm going to compare here is the weight of the seat, including the stock beat rails and the seat belt retainer and everything, versus the old seat with the seat rails and everything else. So it's a like for like. This works out at 10.5 kilos and this is... 12.5 so it's a saving of two kilos in total over the standard setup Fleet update. I currently own three cars the Honda Beat the Daihatsu Mira behind me and And this Honda Accord As my daily driver As of this morning the Honda Accord is sold and will be picked up later on today I actually have somebody coming to look at the mirror later on today as well it's been up for sale for a few weeks and having that Honda Accord and this Honda Beat has really made me fall in love with the Honda brand again many years ago I had a couple of Hondas back to back including a Honda CRX and a Honda Prelude and I really love the way that those cars are built so I'll be replacing my daily driver with another Honda and it's gonna be red I'll show you what it is when I pick it up tomorrow Well, I've just been out for a bit of a drive in the beat with the new seat installed and there is good news and bad. The good news is that the seat padding is plenty actually, even though it's very thin, it doesn't feel like it's a very hard seat when you're uh, driving around. And also the side bolstering is really a step up in the control that you have in the cabin. It actually makes the car feel like it handles better like the suspension is firmer or something. It's just a really good solid feeling. You feel more in control of the car because you're being thrown around less. So that side of things is a big improvement. But there is two things that I'm not happy about. Number one, the shape of the seat. It doesn't really contour into your back, uh, particularly in the kind of lumbar support area and it doesn't fit my shape particularly well. It kind of contacts up my upper back and then down at my lower back and not in between. And I just don't find that particularly comfortable. And the second thing uh, that I don't particularly like is although you sit lower, which is great, and it gives you a lot more feeling of kind of sportiness, the seat back is, uh, is obviously fixed in place. It's not reclinable and it's reclined too far. So I feel like I'm just leaned 
back too much uh, to be my kind of normal comfortable driving position I don't prefer to be bolt upright but you know a little bit more upright than it currently sits so it's a bit of a mixed bag great support comfortable padding sit lower down but too much recline and not enough lumbar support in this middle area of your back. Overall, it has been a very long wait to get this installed and I can't say that I'm gonna keep it in the car. The drawbacks are just not worth the benefits for me. I'd love to have a bit more side support in the stock seats, but I think overall, I'm gonna miss the zebra print, which I could have applied to the padding on this, but it'll just, escalate the price even further and it won't fix those issues of too much recline and not enough back support for my shape. So I will be taking them out and putting the stock seats back in and put these up for sale. I'm sure they fit lots of other cars so I should be able to get rid of them fairly easy. It was worth the experiment. Uh, I like trying new things even if they don't work out and hopefully somebody else in the beat group can get some, uh, some helpful information out of this. And if they want to try that, I will put links down in the description for where I bought these seats. Sloan.